Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Marvin Samdani with the top news of the day. Gold, Golden Munir's 11-day remand started today. Golden Munir Hussein, the emperor of the criminal world, and now he's infamously known by the title. The salesman of an ordinary clothes shop now owns Taka 1,050 crore. Besides, he has plenty of allegations for illegal land grabbing, which include houses and government properties. The ACC has seized assets worth Taka 100 crore from Kazianis and expelled office secretary of Jubilee for allegedly owning assets illegally. The company's deputy director, Gulshan Anwar Pradhan, seized the assets. In the case statement, Kazianis was charged with acquiring illegal assets worth Taka 12 crore, 80 lakh, 60,920, and his wife against 1 crore, 31 lakh, 16,500 Taka. A court has acquitted BNP Executive Committee member Ishwak Hussain in a case filed by the ACC alleging concealment of information in the asset statement. The verdict was given by Metropolitan Sessions Judge Sheikh Najmul Alam on Monday. Badal Roy's last rites were performed at the Shobujba Crematorium after paying homage to people of all walks of life at the Mohammedan Club and Bongabuntu Stadium. At that time, a mournful atmosphere was created in the premises of Mohammedan and Bongabuntu Stadium. Apart from the stadium, various political and social organizations also paid their respects. The Prime Minister also paid tribute. To ensure that people wear masks, the government has instructed to tighten the punishment if imposing fines don't work for the people. The information was given by Cabinet Secretary Kondagar Anwar al-Islam after a cabinet meeting chaired by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Monday. It was also informed that the situation will be monitored through mobile court in the next one week. Bangladesh on Monday recorded 28 deaths from novel coronavirus in the last 24 hours, increasing the death toll from the pandemic to 6,416. The tally of infections has surged to 4,49,760 as 2,419 new cases were confirmed in the period of time. Meanwhile, vaccination may begin in the United States by next month. The head of the country's COVID-19 vaccination program, Monsef Slawi, provided the information. Besides, G20 leaders said on Sunday they will spare no effort to ensure the fair distribution of coronavirus vaccination worldwide and support poor countries whose economies have been ravaged by the crisis. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.